way I'm going to structure this video is as follows. I'm going to give you as much non-spoiler review as I can in the front, and then I'll let you guys know when I'm going to talk some spoilers. Um, but essentially, to give you guys a bit of context, this is literally my introduction to the It's, Billy, it's Me Billy world. I've never seen any of the It's Me Billy stuff. I don't know if there's any other movies or any other things like that. So I'm definitely interested into this world now, and I might venture in um, and see you know, what movies and what lore there is to really sort of follow up on because this is my first exposure to it. Um, now, to Dave, if you ever watch this, um, I say, you know, to, to, to Dave, to Bruce, to the cast, to the crew, to everyone who is involved on this, pat yourselves on the back because this was absolutely incredible. You, if you'd have just watched this in any cinema anywhere, you wouldn't have been able to tell that this was done you know, via Indiegogo or a self-funded project, you wouldn't have been able to tell. The production value of this is absolutely insane. And I've got to say, the chemistry between Victoria, Shelby, and um, Malaika, Malaika, hopefully I've said that right, let me know if I butchered it. The chemistry between these three actresses is incredible. You can really sort of buy into it in that they have a bond and they have a rapport. And it's proof that you don't always need a big cast or a big ensemble to sell a story. And I, again, I know very little about the It's Me Billy world, but this has got me, it's got me interested to learn more. And I could be tempted now to go and watch, you know, any of the other movies. So if you guys are familiar with It's Me Billy, make sure you comment the movies and stuff down below for me to go and watch. And I just think, man, this was just incredible. Like just staying off the topic of spoilers for a minute. The way this all went, was absolutely insane. The The visuals were, were, were on point. The sound design was incredible. There wasn't a moment where you felt like, you know, there was awkward audio, there was awkward um, uh, signs. I just love the way the atmosphere is set up. Now, this isn't a spoiler, but there are scenes where it's just quiet and you hear like birds chirping, you hear water running, you hear, you hear birds in the night, you hear the wind through the trees. You just feel it feels like you are there and when certain things happen within this I, I was tense. I was honestly tense. It was you know literally just like being straight in the cinema watching it in the evening and What an experience what an experience. I really really enjoyed it If if you were to ask me what I would rank it out of 10 I probably couldn't give you that rating because again I, I don't really like to quantify film in that way because you know my opinion will always change But I'm just gonna tell you what I liked and all that kind of stuff um, so now I'm going to talk a little bit of spoilers um, and to all my chosen one subscribers if you haven't seen this or you are horror into the horror genre or you're into it's me Billy and all that kind of stuff I'm going to leave the link down in the comment section and the description below make sure you guys go and check it out this was a, a great watch a good 40 minutes of just pure entertainment now this is the spoiler part I want to talk about the first death scene that was absolutely brutal like i just it's kind of weird because when you see so many horror films and stuff you kind of expect certain things and certain tropes and certain themes and all that kind of jazz but when it happened it still didn't take away from the emotional blow of it all and the way it's justified is the main character has her headphones in so she can't hear it she can't hear it while it's going on um, while her friend's being murdered, the other friend's being dragged away. And then by the end of the film, you know, we find out that she's been suffocated and left, you know, basically to die. And, I mean, let's be real. The minute the, the old woman... Again, like, I, I'm a novice when it comes to it's me, Billy, guys. So so please be patient with me. Um, when the old lady has her in the car, I was like, right, this old lady is definitely... She's definitely key and an instrumental to what this uh, Billy dude is doing. And, you know, then, you know, she basically drugs her and then they take her back to the house. And I was like, oh, well, that was that any shock? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's always like the elderly characters that are assisting, you know, the, the current killers. It's very, it's always, it's always very weird, but it, it didn't take away from the feeling of it. It didn't take away from the effect of it. And the performances were absolutely insane. Um, especially when she finds her friend dead and just the, the incredible performance from both, you know, from from the actress displaying, you know, just the feeling of being dead and the other one reacting to it was so powerful. And then you just see the hand reach down from the top of the attic. It was incredible. The mood, the atmosphere, the scene, 
fantastic. And if this is my introduction into the It's Me Billy world, then I can't wait to uh, to check it out more and see what's uh, to see what more is on offer because uh, this was pretty. This was really good. This was really really good. And Dave, I gotta say, muscle tov to you. You know, because this this was my first introduction into this uh, world, and honestly. Guys, you knocked it out of the park. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And this is coming from a guy like me who's not, who's a novice who knows literally next to nothing about It's Me, Billy. So this is my introduction through your fan film. And, you know, to me, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even class it as a fan film. I'd class it as a film. You know, it, it feels real. It feels right. And I just want to say, the, the thumbnail or, you know, the movie cover, uh, if you will... Sort of it all it reminds me of the very old school horror movie posters from the 70s and the 80s and it feels real and I've always remembered you saying this Dave in your McRae lives is You need there to be a reason to justify girls in you know or anyone in the modern age Using landlines because you know, we're not using landlines nowadays You know, we very rarely talk on our phones anymore. They're basically pocket computers at this point point. And you're, you're bang on. And I love the way that, that, that they are planted throughout the house for use to keep to keep the spirit of it alive. And there is always going to be something so monumental and so creepy about a landline ringing in the dead of night after unspeakable things have happened. You know, it's it's good. I fully believe the justification for that, which is something I know uh, you kind of really enjoy, Dave. But yeah, this is uh, this is great. So all my subscribers, if you're into horror, go check it out. If you're into the It's Me Billy world, go check it out. And also just check out Dave McRae's channel. You know, he's a top top dude, film buff like myself, talks movies, pop culture, and all that kind of jazz. So make sure you head on over there. Tell him I sent you. And yeah, this is this is great. I might have to give it one more watch just to sort of soak it all in. But I love the way it's set up. I love the way it's shot. It's shot beautifully, especially the shots during the day. The shots during the day are brilliant. There's like a shot of um, a, a, a water tap or a water hose bit running with just dripping. Perfect. And my favorite um, transition is at night. It's it's early on in the, the movie when it literally happens just before the first murder. And all you hear is an owl, I think. I think it's an owl, you know, like in the distance. And it's just, it's dark, there's clouds, you just hear the wind rustling through the trees. It just sets that mood and the atmosphere perfect, uh, perfectly ready for the events that are about to come. So, guys and girls, head on over there, check it out. And I tell you what, again, cast, crew, Dave, Bruce, everyone who was involved, great job. This was amazing. I enjoyed watching this, and I'm not a big horror movie guy. You know, I, I, I obviously like your staples. Um, but this was my introduction into the It's Me Billy world, so I'm interested to learn a bit more about that now. Um, but yeah, this is awesome, and you know, I can tell the level of dedication, passion, care, and work that you guys have put into this, and it's absolutely incredible. You know, absolutely incredible. And hey, can we get a sequel? Can we get a sequel? I wanted to know, I wanted to know what happened next. Like, it, it got to the point where I was so interested, I was like, man, I need to know what happens next. This is, this is some good shit right here. So guys and girls, head on over there, tell them I sent you, and again, to everyone involved, great job, kudos to you, and uh, I love the way when the phone rings, you have all like these different voices, you have like, uh, you know, your mixture of Billy in there, kids crying and screaming, people in screaming in agony, it set the scene so perfectly, and I love the little sort of... Um, fourth wall breaking i don't know if you can call it that but for me it felt like fourth wall breaking when the girls are sat there watching the horror movie on the the tablet and they you know they say why does no why did why does everyone run upstairs why does no one go to the literally go out the front door which is very true <laughs> why does no one ever do that in horror movies but as i said really enjoyed it muzzle top to you guys and yeah i just really really enjoyed this so I'm going to keep an eye on this and I will watch this with great interest. Guys and girls, I'll see you in another video soon. And yeah, go check it out.